Myocarditis is the commonest cause of acquired sudden cardiac death in young people. People acquire the virus from the environment, usually during spring and autumn. The viruses that cause this condition are the enteroviruses. The, well, the most well recognized is the Coxsackie virus. The young individual will usually suffer a runny nose and a sore throat and aches or pains and will probably feel they've got a common cold. At the same time, this virus may also be affecting the heart but not cause any cardiac symptoms. In some people, there may be clear cardiac symptoms such as chest pains or palpitations or sudden onset of breathlessness that's disproportionate to the amount of walking the young person's doing. So it can either present as a common cold or present with cardiac symptoms. And it's not easy to diagnose when it presents as a common cold because every young child gets a common cold, stays off school for a day or so, and then is back to normal. Unfortunately, young children continue to play sport when they've got a common cold. And it's, it's quite a vulnerable time to be playing sport because if the virus has affected the heart and caused a subclinical myocarditis, then exercise can cause fatal rhythm disturbances. And this is one of the common scenarios that we, we come across when we see sudden death in young athletic individuals in that um, they've had a cold, they've gone out for a jog and never come home, they've dropped dead. So our advice to all athletes and people participating in sport is if they've got a cold that extends beyond the throat, that is anything more than a sore throat they should not train until the condition's completely cured. Some people clearly present to the A&E department with chest pains and breathlessness, and we do an ECG, and we see that the heart's unhappy. The ST segments look abnormal, and the T waves look abnormal. We then do a heart scan, which shows that the heart should be doing this, but because it's inflamed, it's behaving like a dilated cardiomyopathy. It's doing this instead. When we see this, we need to start treatment with ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and we recommend complete abstinence from sport for at least six months. And they should only go back to strenuous exercise if the heart has gone completely back to normal, and if on the treadmill test we cannot demonstrate any potentially serious cardiac rhythm disturbances. The good news is that over 90% of people that develop myocarditis do go back to a normal lifestyle. There are some people that go on to develop a dilated cardiomyopathy. The heart becomes baggy and it never goes back to normal. And there are some people who are so bad that they need a transplantation at the time of illness to save their lives.